Hey, my name is Bill Cook. I want to talk a little bit about doing dispossessory. Uh, this is July 9, 2010, and I'm about to uh, set someone's property out of one of our rental properties. I've never done this in 15 years, ever, so I'm learning as I go, but kind of do a video as we go. We have a deputy sheriff here. He's here to protect um, the tenant's belongings because the belongings have to be set out, and then they have to sit there for 24 hours before they can be removed. So his job is to protect the um, tenant, not us. And then there's the property, and we'll get back to you. Okay, the police and the sheriff's department came. The white police chief is here. So this is kind of what it looks like when we're walking in. They're going through making sure nobody's here. And here's what the property looks like inside. So I asked him what to do next. But uh, this is what the place looks like. They're taking all the appliances, but we're getting the house back. Next, as we start moving. Well, there's one beautiful person and three ugly guys. <laughs> anyway, um, these well, are the folks who are going <laughs> to... <laughs> yeah, because there's two more standing behind you in case you didn't know that. Um, these are the folks who will be helping us move, uh, and we're about to load stuff up, just talk with uh, law enforcement, and we have to leave, like, knives and weapons in there or throw it away. We can't leave it out or cleaning solvents. We can't leave that out where someone can get to it. Um, and then all the furniture and uh, plates, stuff like that, that has to go. So, here we go. So let's be done with this thing in about 15 minutes. Okay, it's been about uh, 45 minutes, and we've emptied the house. Um, some of the rules that I learned were uh, any knives or any weapons or any cleaners that could harm a child could not be put out on the road with the uh, owner's stuff. We can dispose of that immediately, just put it in the truck and take it to the dump. However, furniture stereos, TVs like that need to be put outside. As far as food and all that goes, again, that, that, that can be go, go right to the dump because kids can get into it and get hurt. It took us about 45 minutes to get everything cleaned out. Let me kind of show you what this looks like. And there is a property. We brought it away from the home. The home's, let's see, what was that one right about there? Anyway, we uh, just put it on the flatbed, and we brought it to the front of the uh, park, and the sheriff is going to be telling the uh, ex-resident now that she is no longer to, she's not allowed to go past this point. I expect not to have these nice mailboxes that I just had built for very long because they're going to run them over. Um, I did deliver a letter to the tenants where she's living now and just kind of told her what had happened. So let's go see what the home looks like now after a few minutes of uh, working hard. This is not fun, and I don't enjoy this. First time I've ever done this. Again, I've always been able to work it out at the kitchen table. I'm sorry it didn't work out. Okay, here we are 45 minutes later. Here's what the inside of the home looks like now. You want plenty of help to do this with. Porch is cleared off. Put it in one of these windows facing out, too. Okay, so... Here's the bedroom, here's the den, again everything is gone, there's the kitchen, pretty much everything is gone. Go back here, we've changed the locks out, bathroom, here we go. Are y'all done? Okay, we need to get out of here, he's ready to go. And then again, new locks. Again, I don't like doing this. I've always been able to work this out with a homeowner, a resident. You know, write my check, do something. And the producer just came to this. I did deliver a letter a few minutes ago over to where the owner is just to let her know that her stuff is out. So I've done the best thing I can do. And again, the mother got all over me, said how evil and wicked I was. Didn't realize I've been, you know, they haven't paid me really since whenever. So that's the way a dispossessory rolls. Don't let it get to this point. Put in good people. And then work with them hard so you don't have to put stuff out. That's it. Okay, going to do a quick interview with the folks who helped me move. It was, uh, we had Craig, we had the redhead, and we had Joey. Joey, I'm going to start with you because you're just really new to this thing. He uh, was at a, at a meeting last night and said, you know, I'll work for you for free today. Foolish. Um, so <laughs> what did you think of today? It was interesting. I've never had to do that before. And I never had to. Hey, what did you learn? I learned that you pay your bills. Pay your bills. And also make sure you got the sheriff with you. Make sure everything goes safely. Do it right, right? Yes, sir. Always.
Okay. I learned to be very patient with your tenants slash buyers and um, work everything out that you can. And when you can't work it out, you follow the law to a T. And you're very kind with the law in every form at the county courthouse. When they're here, you ask them what you can and cannot do. Um, and let them stay here and make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do. Good. Kimmy, this is the redhead, the love of my life. Uh, ditto both of these guys. <clears throat> Brilliant. And for me, I learned... It's me. Deodorant. <laughs> Except for me. I don't stink. I never stunk in my life. Uh, uh, uh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, that's it.